Now here is a very important question from interview perspective. What is the difference between throw X and throw? Let's see the difference. Throw X will change the stack trace, whereas throw will preserve the whole stack trace. Let's, let's try to understand this with the help of code. See here in the code we have used throw X, okay? From main method we called divided by zero method which is doing nothing but trying to divide zero by zero and therefore it will definitely throw an error okay now we will catch this error in the catch block and then use throw x to send the error details to the main method okay here it will goes inside the catch block and then exception stack trace will be printed okay so this is the error printed this is telling the problem is at line 32 right but if you see at line 32 we have throw x the root of the error is is not here okay we tried by dividing by divide so 3x throw x is not is the not the root of the error so basically throw x is basically not preserving the actual stack trace and it is somehow changing the stack trace all right so now that is we are trying to zero by zero so this is not good so what we will do what we uh, now we will use throw so this is the example of the throw see here is the code we have just replaced throw x with throw nothing else rest of the body is exactly same now we will run it again the error that will be printed from here inside the cache block right and this will be the error and this time it is showing carefully uh, see it is showing the error is at line 28 and that is what is the right point of the error that is the root of the error which we were expecting as a developer we need the logs to give the right point right so the reason the reason it is throwing the right error because throw will not modify the actual stack trace it will preserve the whole stack trace and that is good right because now developer can easily locate the error location for check after checking the stack trace therefore it's a best practice to use throw as it preserve the whole stack trace sometimes you will not find any difference between throw and throw x if there is only one method okay but if you are calling one method from other method then you will find the difference okay so that is the difference between the two